guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make DIY wands. And I, this is kind of like geeky, don't judge me. Um, but I love Harry Potter and I saw this on Pinterest and I'm like, I'm going to give this a shot because oh my gosh, how cool is that? So if you guys want to know how to make wands, then keep watching. I don't know why you wouldn't. Tis the season to make wands. So let's go. So the things you're going to need are some acrylic paint in brown, black, and maybe even gold. Gold is optional. Um, and different shades of brown is also optional. You're going to need a paintbrush, some sort of thing to put your paint on to mix it. It doesn't matter what it is. A plastic Tupperware top will work. Um, you're going to need a hot glue gun and then you're also going to need a pen, a pencil, some sort of something. That's also optional but I liked using it. And then you're also going to need chopsticks and I recommend just going to your local Panda Express and getting some chopsticks instead of buying them like I did. Okay you guys, so you're gonna start off by just like looking up some different ones um, or you can just make up your own designs, it doesn't really matter. Um, so start off by taking out some of your chopsticks. Um, yeah, and we're just going to break them in half. Mine have a little angle on it, um, as you can see, but it doesn't really matter because it gets covered up with hot glue anyways. But what I do first is you can totally skip this step, but I like marking out where I want to have like the lines and like where I want it to end and all that. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark where I want it to go. You're going to take your hot glue gun. Sorry about this pa like what is this? It's like paper. Okay. Um, real life. Um, okay, so you're gonna go ahead and start marking like with the hot glue gun really carefully like but you don't have to be too careful honestly you guys like DIYs they're just like a way for you to make it your own. You don't have to do it exactly how like a pin says or something. You're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill this part up just to make like a little handle on the end. And then where I have that little angle part, I'm just going to put a little bit more hot glue than the rest. And I'm just going to keep rotating it and then blowing on it just so that it kind of dries quicker. It's pretty much dry. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and start designing the rest of it. I'm just going to make another single little line around right here. It looks pretty funky right now. It doesn't really look like a wand. It just looks like... A stick with hot glue on it which is that's what it is so there I added two lines one two it's honestly your personal preference if you want it pink make it pink if you want it I don't know whatever color you want your wand girl you just make it that color I'm also going to take some coal that's what the color is called also got from Target and they have like a little craft section now which is super cool and then you're just gonna mix those two colors up to make like a darker brown because I feel like that copper color was a little bit too like bright for me. I wanted something a little bit more like antique-y like kind of color. Okay, so just begin painting your uh, wand. Make sure you get the tops and get these little freaking strings off. Hot glue spider webs. Honestly, you guys, like I did not fail at this pin. I'm like happy for, like I'm happy for myself. I'm proud of myself. I did not fail at this. If I did not fail, you guys definitely won't fail because I am the queen of failing at pins. Okay, so set that one to dry. And I'm just going to do some details with gold on these little, whatchamacallits, you know, these little things I made. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't and you would like to be, make sure you subscribe to my channel because... I love you. If you have any requests, make sure you leave them down below. I love hearing what you'll have to say and what you want to see. I've been doing like different videos than I usually do just because like I feel like I should be able to do what I want and not have to stick to one thing. Like I don't feel like I should just have to do beauty and I don't feel like I should just have to do like clothes related things. I feel like I can do that, that and like taste test videos, DIYs, like video games, like I feel like I should be able to do it all, it's my channel, so I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with that, but I really 
want to be able to do like a bunch of different stuff and not be limited to one or two things. So I hope you guys understand that, but I hope you guys enjoyed making wands with me because that was super fun and I really, really like these. I feel like they're just like a cute little like, cute little thing to have and honestly you can just dress up and have a wand and then you're, you're a wizard. Like you don't even have to worry about it. It's just like, boom, done. Life is too short to be negative, so make sure you're keeping it positive. I love you guys so, so much and hope you're having an amazing day. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Don't forget. Life is too short to be negative, so don't. I. Woohoo! Hey, guys. Hello, my name is Sydney, and I use a broom to focus my camera behind the scenes. Well, speaking of which, I would just like to say that I'm pretty much in my pajamas. Like, look at these little mermaid pants. <sighs> Life is good. Life is good. My time comes around, lay me gently in the cold darker. No gray.